In our last vlogs, we flew to Iceland, explored downtown Reykjavik, tasted fermented shark and whale fin meat, and visited the site of the most ancient surviving parliament in the world, right there where Europe and American continents meet. But our road trip in Iceland has only just started. Come with us today, we will hunt for geysers. Ciao, I am Emme and she is Effe. We are from Italy and we currently live in Germany. This is our vlog, where we film our travels, expat life and all our little adventures with the goal to build our own memory vault and of course, a way to make new friends and stay in touch with our loved ones. If you're one of those or want to be, stick around and enjoy the show. Good morning. So we wow. woke up here in the middle of the Icelandic nothing. Pampa. <laughs> this morning was raining, but now it turned to blue, or it seems so. Crossing our fingers. Maybe we will not have rain today. Now we start and we go to Geysir first, and then to Gullfoss to see the waterfall. And in the afternoon, <laughs> and in the afternoon, our plan is to chill, chill, yes, and take a warm bath in some of these hot thermal waters of Iceland. Iceland. Iceland? Are we pumped for it? Woo! Yeah, yeah, let's everything. go. Let's go. Explosion. 
It started to rain, unfortunately, but lightly. We arrived to Gezia. Look at me walking through the smoke. Can you see the smoke? <laughs> it smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> Fabio is back there enjoying the rotten egg smell. But this place is magic, guys. Even with this weather, the ground is smoking everywhere around us. Pretty cool. If it's blue, it's not for you. Ooh -hoo. Now Ethel will tell us the story of if it's blue, it's not for you. <laughs> if it's blue, it's not for you. So basically, because the temperature of the water is around 80 to 100 degrees Celsius, which is kind of hot, you're not supposed to go inside or touch the water because it's like super dangerous for you. And the nice story to remember how to differentiate if a water is like okay warm or super dangerously hot is if it's blue it's not for you <laughs> so don't go near very blue water First explosion. Oh yes, <laughs> impressive. I even <laughs> managed to make the video the first attempt. Matteo and his super powerful tools. So what do you think about this experience? Power of nature. <laughs> Ignorance of man. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag controvento. <laughs> it's still exploding right there, but we are going to climb that hill down there and try to look at this active area from above. Are you happy to climb a mountain, Eiffel? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Are you satisfied with our 500 subscriber celebration? <laughs> Everybody here thinks that we are crazy. It's okay. It's fine. We are, after all. It's okay. That is fucking spectacular. Oh. And my camera too, actually. <laughs> the evil character of an old an Icelandic <laughs> What's up Fabio? <laughs> is it too much smelly or is it too much fog? <laughs> is not liking our climb on top of the hill due to the mud. <laughs> the mud situation. The mud situation. The real madness. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so the ground is red here while usually with black. So maybe some student of geology can explain us why.
Climbing up the mountain That this is definitely one of the most famous and busy places in Iceland. It's part of the Golden Circle, very near to Reykjavik. It's always full of tourists, but you can really see why. If you come to Iceland, this is a must, right, Fabio? I must see. Wow. <laughs> do you like it? Yes. It's your first time here. What do you think? It's amazing. The nature is simply endless. So many colors, although it's the less colorful moment of the year. Yeah, I think that's really what set Iceland apart from many other destinations which are all beautiful. But this place has some raw feeling with a raw connection with Mother Nature. And it's completely different in winter than summer. In winter everything is more yellowish and reddish. Of course the volcanic activity are the same, but it's a completely different feeling. Mm -hmm. And the temperature is not much different than what we found in July, honestly speaking. Nope. There are actually two big geysers down there. One is the one we already seen exploding and the second one is down there and gives the name to the place. It's called Geysir, but it's inactive now. So it would be really epic if it would become active right now. That's a huge one, guys. Such a time. Wow. Massive amount of water, like really impressive. We had the same thing last time we were here. The weather was quite the same. <laughs> it seems we always manage to get rainy and cold weather here, regardless of being July or November. But we are not complaining at all. This weather, to be honest, adds to the magic of the place. Okay, we have to get here with the sun one. Yeah, having our lunch with a view. <laughs> <laughs> I also got mine. The perfect restaurant in Iceland. Let's try to go to another vantage spot. This is Sigridur, an Icelandic lady who defended the waterfall from the construction of a hydroelectric plant. She went to Reykjavik to protest against it and at the end they did not construct the water plant and today is a major tourist attraction for its beauty. What a nice story.
Ronaldo, boa tarde pra vocês. We made it to the car. This is our current condition. Wet. Current condition? Completely wet. wet. Outside it looks like this. So you can see the people passing by a little bit. It's getting a little bit wet. Perfect situation to go to the nice thermal bath. Isla knew that this was our program yeah. at 3 p.m. to go to the thermal bath. Yes. And right at 3 p.m. it's raining cats and dogs. Like our cousins from Greenland. see some Green. foxes. <laughs> <laughs> Fabio's cold <laughs> jokes. And we got it to the Secret Lagoon. Now we are going to get a nice warm bath here at the Secret Lagoon. Are you guys happy to be at the Secret Lagoon? Yes! yes. We had a very international conversation about this loitery. <laughs> Dopo c'è uno stagno a 100 gradi, mi hai suggerito di non entrarci. Here we are. Welcome to the secret lagoon. Ah, rotten eggs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't wait to experience it, experience it again, right? That's something I dream. Your impressions of your vacation in Iceland so far? Someone stole my towel. So oh I need to no. store another one. <laughs> Ethel needs to go back <laughs> to the <laughs> wardrobe <laughs> because she took our towel. She took her towels with her, and now it started to rain. So the towels is outside. You need to go and put it back inside. It's just minus three degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, Ethel. Please do not turn yourself into a Polaretti dolphin. Pola, Pola, Polaretti. And we are back in the cabin. And look how beautiful me and Nefe are in our Icelandic sweaters. Are you happy of this holiday so far? Oh, definitely. Super cool. Now we also have beautiful skin. I think my skin is the same. But we had the first experience in the hot bath. Oh yes! So second full day is gone. We completed the golden circle. We have seen Reykjavik, Gullfoss, Geysir, and yesterday the National Pink Assembly in Pink Valley. And tomorrow we will... And the Secret Lagoon. The Secret Lagoon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not really that bad because it's, it's super secret. secret.
yeah, this afternoon we bathed in the Secret Lagoon. It's a natural lake. There is only one lake, not more than one, like in other lagoons in Iceland. Is that geyser exploding 20 meters from you? Yeah, there is a small <laughs> geyser which is filling hot water into this lake where you bath. You cannot reach the geyser, of course, there is a wall to protect your life. But it's really nice and warm. And it was cold and rainy outside and warm and plenty of love inside, so we are happy. Tomorrow we will drive south, so our goal Vic. is to reach Vic, where we will stay. Unfortunately, we will have to leave this cabin. Efe is sad to leave the cabin. Can you see our sadness? <laughs> She's working on our resort for tonight, so now we will go help her. And also, uh, reaching Vic, we will have to, or we will have the chance to stop to some of the nice attractions of the south coast of Iceland. So for sure, we will stop in Skogafoss to see the most beautiful or one of the most beautiful waterfalls in Iceland. And also, we will visit the Black Beach for sure. Very good. The caves, the crash plains, which we didn't visit last time in 2015. And now we have and to start. A bit the map yeah. to find something. We will arrive in our cabin with uh, like the view on the Black Beach. No, we have the a cabin net. with the view on the Black Beach. Let's Fabio see. found it. Let's see. Oh, Let's Fabio. See. differently interesting. <laughs> interesting we have some guests we have some guests in the cabin we thought it was one but there are two of them we tried with the glass and the coin the mouse tried to get the cheese inside the glass but the glass fell on his Basically, nose yes so now i'm trying a different approach i put some water in the pan and then i make some way for the mouse to get in the pan <laughs> with grip so hopefully Grande, great job. The question is, how do we know how many mouses there are? <laughs> one is still here. One is still here. And it's 1 a.m. Good morning! Um, and since we survived the night with the mouses in the cottage, or with the one mouse in the cottage, because we have seen two mouses, thanks to our genius traps and some help from the internet, we actually didn't manage to get one with the traps. No. But we went very close. We managed to push one of these mouses out of the door, and the second one is still down there somewhere he probably scared as hell yeah he was scared because we tried two times to catch him uh, first time with the glass and the coin and a little piece of cheese and i guess second time we had a much more ingenious trap made out of a plastic bottle some scissors we didn't manage to film that because yeah we were too focused on getting them out because it was 1 a.m and we wanted to sleep <laughs> got completely into the trap to eat the cheese and I let the trap go. It was supposed to close completely, but it left like a small hole in the bottle in like a, just a quarter of a second he, yeah, he managed it's to escape. Houdini. Our Houdini. We named the mouse Houdini and he is living down there. A super cottage in the Icelandic countryside. Yeah. Countryside, but at the price of some mouses, which will sleep with you here. <laughs> Sorry to say. We are pumped to visit more of Iceland. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So now we finish breakfast, we mm -hmm. pack everything up, hopefully not the mouse, <laughs> and then we head to we Vic. <laughs> but on the way from here to Vic, which is a two and a half hour drive, we will see much more. We have a Skaga Falls to see, and then the Black Beach, the plain, and much more. See you later. Alikita. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Do not know what people say. Good zone for the other stuff. The waterfall of Gulf, Gulf, Gulf. So maybe it's the bird waterfall. What's the girl? What's the girl in English? Girl. Girl what? What a thing. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs>